The Rancho Verde High School, and that's where we're going to start tonight's show, is with Mustangs head coach Eric Zomal. And coach, first off, congratulations on this incredible run um, in the back half of league play and into the playoffs here. Um, are you, I don't know, pleasantly surprised is, is the correct words we should use here, but um, it must be feeling pretty good to be here in the semifinals in Division Eight. It feels great. Like, a bit from where we were four or five weeks ago, I mean, it was, it was looking, you know, pretty, pretty bleak for us. And we found a way to get a win, you know, uh, against Temesco and then, and then another win against Elsinore. And, and it gave us, gave us some, you know, some hope that we would qualify for the playoffs. And so it does, it feels great to practice at this time of year. I'm just going to call you Mr. November. Because every time November rolls around, I know Coach Eric Zomal team is going to be there in the playoffs. But, Coach, what do you think this says about your team that, you know, even when things were rough, even through non-league play, this team never gave up. They still had hope, but, you know, that light at the end of the tunnel in terms of maybe making it into the playoffs. And, and here you are. There's only a handful of teams still playing this time of the year, and you guys never gave up. You know what? I mean, it's, it's a real kind of testament to, to these kids' character. And um, and, you know, their commitment to the process, because it's and, I, and I've said it, you know, time and time again about the standard that um, that Rancho Verde set for for football for for years. And so they've been kind of, um, you know, I don't know if it's unfair or, 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 or you know, fair or whatever, but um, but it's just the reality that you carry that that, you know, that name across your chest. And so. You have to deal with some of the um, the expectations, and it's it's good for people to, you know, um, to expect uh, you know uh, a, a lot from us, and I expect a lot from myself. So um, it, it's been a real process, and these kids have kind of stuck stuck with me and my coaches, and because um, it was they could have easily gone in the tank, and, and we were I think at one point one in six maybe. Um, and 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 they found a way to, to to win a couple games, and then once we got in, and it was you know, let's just see how far we can, how far we can take it. And it's, it's been great so far. Yeah. Big win against Elsinore. The first time you played the Tigers, it was a one touchdown game. The second time uh, you guys won by several touchdowns in the quarterfinals. So now you're back home in the semifinals against Lakewood. Uh, Coach, what do you like about the way your team is playing right now as you go to the semis? You know what? what I, the, the most important thing is that we're healthy. I mean, we, when we started to make some progress, um, you know, coming off of like back-to-back -back routes in, in, you know, week two and week three to Citrus Valley and Etiwanda, you know, really like top-tier programs, but like nobody cares. They look at the score and, um, and we were on the, the, you know, the short end of it. Um, we started to make some progress against a really good San Jacinto team and our quarterback went down. And the following week, um, our, our best player on defense, our middle linebacker, uh, Johnny Zoma, the, the great Johnny Zoma, I think he called him on one of his highlights. It was hilarious. Um, he went down. And so we were just kind of in a tough, a tough position going into league. And, um, and, and then now that we're starting to get kids, uh, you know, healthy and, and, and back on board and we're, we're whole again and our, our understanding of like the, like the preparation and the process that it, that it takes every day has grown throughout the course of the season. And so that like health is, is the most important part of it, but, but also our, our development throughout this journey. Well, Coach, I'm uh, old enough to remember the triplets, the Dallas Cowboys triplets, um, you know, quarterback, running back, receiver. And I feel like if, you know, great teams always have like that big three, right? And I feel like your QB landed to Brian, Dylan Riley at uh, running back, and a Marion Orange is only a sophomore, which is crazy. I feel like you've got a great set of triplets right there. I mean, those are kind of like your, your big three, at least offensively yeah. right now. How, how well are they clicking right now in the playoffs? You know, everything, the, the Dylan, not Dylan, Landon was the first person that I um, uh, reached out to when um, when I when I took I, actually I think he might have reached out to me, but he was the first person I was, you know, concerned about maybe losing in this process when I took the job. You know, um, um, it, it, when you're a, 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 as talented a quarterback as he is, you know, people will be in your ear and and you know try to convince you to 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 jump ship. And so he's all, and I think that's part of the reason why you know so many people had us you know, ranked um, so high early in the season is because of what he had done in the past and, and what we hoped he would be able to do this year. Um, it's been a process, 
um, you know, without a doubt, trying to get everybody on the same page up front and our other skill guys. But Landon, uh, Dylan, and Amarion are a a real threat on any given play to uh, you know to to make something special happen for sure. All right, finally, coach. Without giving away your secrets, you know, you play uh, Lakewood this Friday with a win would send you to the championship game. What do you know about Lakewood? What do you think are the keys to the victory for the Mustangs on Friday night? You know, they have some some uh, really good skill skill kids, and they play with a, a, a lot of kind of enthusiasm on defense. They're active on defense. Um, but, you know, like I, I tell our kids all the time, I want us to get whatever we deserve and whatever we earn. And so it's always been about us. And um, if we go out and execute, and I think we've started to show people um, what that kind of the realization of our full potential, like what it looks like. And um, and so if we go out and, and you know, execute at a high level, then um, then I feel like we should uh, we should be OK. Coach, I always appreciate the time. You're always so generous with your time. And again, this is a very uh, important week for the Mustangs, but you still hopped on the show. And I, I really do appreciate that, Coach. No, I appreciate you, Pep, man. You always, you know, like I, when I continue to say it, man, what you do for for these kids and these programs and IE, man, it's, it's, you know, it's truly appreciated and it's special and, um, and we love you for it. Hey, it's all my pleasure, coach. That's Eric Zomal, the head football coach for the Rancho Verde, taking on Lakewood in the D8 semifinals this week. A win would send the Mustangs to that championship game. And first things first, let's pack uh, Rancho Verde this Friday night, get those Mustangs a win and get them to the D8 championship. Thanks again, coach. We really appreciate it. Yes, sir. Pep. You got it. Anytime. Inland sports.